guys, I'm Allison with Upright and Caffeinated. And today we're gonna do a chalk couture project. And um, I just got my chalk couture starter kit. So this is one of the first projects I'm doing. So this is gonna be a very basic introduction to chalk couture. I'm gonna share a few tips that I've learned as a chalk couture beginner. And so let's get started. So if you haven't seen um, my uh, unboxing of my starter kit, I will leave that link. Um, it's a YouTube video. You can check it out there. Uh, also, if you want to join my Facebook group, it's called Coffee Chalk. You are welcome to join my Facebook group, and I will leave that link as well. So in the starter kit came a whole bunch of transfers, a bunch of different chalk pastes, and a few surfaces. So today what I'm going to start with is this basic um, signature wreath that Chalk Couture has designed. Now this wreath comes with all these little numbers and then a few little extra details. So the best thing to do with this particular transfer is to cut up how you want to use these pieces. So for instance, I am just going to cut this top part off of the wreath because all I'm working with is the wreath. If I wanted to work with these individual little pieces, what I would do is cut these. And they have these little lines so that you can just cut along the lines and you can have individual numbers, individual little um, flourishes. And then, um, of course, you have the wreath. So since I'm just doing the wreath today, I'm going to cut along this bottom right below these numbers. I'm going to cut along this line. And that's going to leave me with just uh, the wreath here. And the surface I'm working with today is um, one of their signature surfaces and it's a black slate chalkboard and then this frame is white but it's distressed so it has a little bit of a farmhouse look and it is absolutely beautiful. Such a pretty frame. So when you first work with the chalk couture transfers, the first thing you want to do is um, peel the transfer off of the backing. To do that, you want to go top to bottom or side to side. You do not want to peel it corner to corner. These are silk screens and they are actually a fabric. And if you pull it from corner to corner, it could stretch. If you do it from top to bottom or side to side, it'll pre help prevent stretching. The thing is with these transfers is they're, they're reusable. You can use them, um, I've read you can use them up to 20 times. I've read you can use them even more if you take really good care of them. So you want to take care of your transfers because you want to get the most uses out of them as you possibly can. So I am just peeling this right up, you know, peel one corner just to kind of get it started. Peel it all the way across and then you're just going to peel it up. And I'm going to actually set the backing on underneath this board to kind of help pull it up so I can pull it up a little bit flat. The other thing you want to try to avoid is the um, transfer folding over onto itself because the back side is sticky. So then the next thing we're going to do with this, which is really interesting, it's called fuzzing. When you have a brand new transfer, you actually want to get a little fuzz on the adhesive. If you go and stick this right onto a surface, it's going to be so sticky that it's probably going to stretch as you pull it off. So this is called fuzzing, and what this does is it allows just a little bit of fuzz to get onto the transfer so that it's not as sticky. This helps uh, keep your adhesive sticky longer because um, you're not going to stretch it, and all it does is just adds a little fuzzy barrier. And remember, the inside of this is a silk screen, so the fuzz doesn't stick to the silk screen part. It's only gonna stick to this outside fuzzy part. Remember when you pull it off, pull it off, top to bottom or side to side. And now we're ready to place this onto the surface. So just line it up as evenly as you possibly can. Um, I'm gonna try to do this as evenly as possible. It may not be perfect, but you guys, it doesn't matter because um, if it doesn't look good, you just wipe this stuff right off. The great thing about chalk couture products and this this um, chalk paste is it you can wipe it off. It's not permanent. It's not permanent unless you make it permanent. And to make it permanent, all you have to do is use some sort of spray sealer over it. But 
if I don't like the way my design looks, all I've got to do is wash it off and it's that simple. Um, that's what's great about this. You can make a design for just a you know couple months and then swap it out and it's no big deal. So make sure you save the backing. You're gonna put this transfer right back on the backing as soon as uh, you're done using it and as soon as it's done after you've washed it and dried it. So I'm gonna put that backing over there so I can save it. So now this is what it looks like and now we're ready to go ahead and put the chalk paste on it. So for this I'm using emerald and I'm gonna just do the outside wreath and we're gonna open it up and let me show you what it looks like. So it almost looks like marshmallow fluff. Have you ever opened a jar of marshmallow fluff? That's kind of what it looks like. What you want to do is take, these are just um, little wooden, I don't know, um, like tongue depressors. I got them at the craft store, super cheap. That's all they are, little wooden things. What you want to do is start stirring your chalk paste, okay? So you can see it's kind of, um, you know, like, like marshmallow fluff. And just like marshmallow fluff, as you stir it, it gets smooth. Um, so if you're into cooking and you're into cooking with marshmallow fluff, <laughs> you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, but basically you want to stir this up, stir up your chalkology paste until it's smooth. And you'll see already, look how creamy that's getting. It's amazing. So keep, keep stirring it up um, until it just has that real creamy texture. And you will know, it looks like now, if I were to tilt it, it would literally drip out because it's so creamy right now. So isn't that neat? Um, oh, this stuff is just amazing. And the color is so beautiful. All right, so for this particular wreath, I'm gonna use my small squeegee just because um, these are kind of small. I don't think I need the big angled squeegee, although I do have it in case I need it. And so I'm gonna take this paste and I'm just gonna kind of lightly dab it around, okay? And now I'm gonna take my squeegee now, the one thing I will caution is be careful as to where you put your, your paste. If you only want it on the outside like I do, I'm not going to squeegee over this um, established because I don't want the word in this one. I just want the wreath. So make sure that you only squeegee the paste over the silk screen part that you want. To show up on your surface. Um, this is so easy to work with you guys and it barely takes anything. You saw how much paste I put on there. That is probably more than enough. I probably do not need any more paste to do this wreath. Um, the other thing you want to be careful of is don't get it outside of these lines. Although if you do, not the end of the world because this stuff wipes off. So if you do happen to get it outside the lines, um, I keep a stack of baby wipes right here. So if I get it outside the lines, just take a little baby wipe, wipe it off, it's no big deal. I'm gonna just get a touch more paste just for these couple little leaves down here that I did not get. And we're gonna just squeegee that right on. So that's it. That's all you have to do. Oh, see, I just got a little paste on there. You wanna work quickly. You don't want this stuff to dry while your uh, transfer is on there. So I'm actually gonna wipe that little tiny bit off and then we're gonna go ahead and peel this up. I have a little water bath right here. All this is is warm water. And I'm going to carefully peel up one corner to just to get it started. And the same thing we did when we pulled it off the trans or off the backing and pulled it off the towel after we fuzzed it, I am gonna pull it from top to bottom. Okay. So we're gonna pull gently as to not stretch 
the transfer. So pull gently and slowly. from either top to bottom or side to side. And this is, this color is gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, I love these black chalkboards too. Um, it just, it, it makes the color just pop. So we're going to put this directly into this um, water bath. And again, taking care not to let the transfer fold over on itself because it is sticky. And I am going to scrape off all that excess chalk paste and put a lid back on it just so that this stuff doesn't dry out. So you guys, I barely used any of that. And let me show you how gorgeous this looks. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I'm so excited. So now if I wanted to, I could put some numbers in there. I could put a little word in there. Um, you know, all kinds of things. This, the little flourishes, or details or whatever you want to call these that it comes with. Um, like, look at those, those little dots. I mean, how cute would this be? I can make little dots red and kind of put them around and then have something for Christmas. And that would just be adorable. Um, Chalkology or uh, Chalk Couture makes seasonal transfers. So in the next couple of months, all the um, fall and then uh, holiday, Christmas, all those transfers are gonna start coming out. So you could take something basic like the wreath and then add to it and add, you know, Christmas or, um, you know, you could do something with like pumpkins. Oh, that would be adorable. So that is what we did today. We just did a basic wreath. I showed you a few tricks and tips with using the um, Chalkology paste, with using the Chalk Couture transfers. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Again, I would invite you to join my Facebook group called Coffee Chalk. Um, I will leave the link and I would love for you to join us in there. And if you have any questions, let me know. Again, I'm Allison with Upright and Caffeinated and we're doing Chalk Couture today. Thanks.